Hey guys, uh, Stranded J back, and I wanted to just do a, a quick comic book review. Um, I've been really getting back into comic books. It's really my bread and butter on this channel. Um, I know a lot of my recent videos that have gotten a lot of views have been a lot of video game related material, which is also great, but comics are where I really, uh, I really love and thrive. And so I've been really trying to get back into doing that. Um, I have a ton of comic books. I have, I mean, I've been doing this on the shelf channel uh, segment for uh, three episodes now, which is just coming out here shortly. Um, I'm actually recording this right after my third episode, and um, I just have been really enjoying it. And so I just can't get enough of talking about comic books. And um, as much as I love doing that, I'm kind of limited because a lot of my comic books aren't with me, and I, I don't really. It's overwhelming to go over just some back issues. It's really fun to talk about recent stuff. And here, let me just give me a second. I have. So this is what's on my shelf right now. This is my backlog of recent comic books. I have Amazing Spider-Man, Daredevil, Superman, Batman, Action, Detective. Um, Dare, did I say Daredevil? I have I have a ton and. Um, I'm trying to kind of even these out with my trades because I'm still picking up trades, especially around the holidays when I'm getting a lot of gift cards and things. So um, I wanted to do just kind of a, a, a quick review on the first volume of Chip Starsky's Daredevil. Um, and I this is a book that I picked up a little while back, and I now have five volumes of it. I have four volumes of it. I just picked up the other three. Um, yesterday along with my pull list so I can't wait to get into those but this is the one that I fully finished I'm digging into them now but this is the one I can actually talk about um, so I wanted to just kind of dive into that and um, if you want to see more single issue comic books if you want to see stuff like this and stuff like this um, let me know uh, and I will gladly do more like of a pull list video but it's just so overwhelming it's easier to kind of talk about this stuff over the other stuff because I'm it's it's always moving it's like a new computer it's always out of date by the time you buy it so um, as much as this is a little bit older I can kind of find a starting point to talk about it so let's just dive in um, I'm excited to talk about this um, so this is Daredevil by Chip Starsky um, and uh, uh, the artist is uh, Chichetto, I think is his last name. Um, I, I don't, I'm not familiar with a lot of his work, but I love his art in this. Um, I haven't been following single issue Daredevil for uh, a couple years. Uh, I've been behind probably, actually, it's probably been since Mark Wage run that I have picked up Daredevil um, on a weekly basis or a monthly basis. And I have, I am picking it up now, as you can see, like I have issue 25 here and I have a couple others, um, but I, I'm catching up. So I'm picking up trades of the ones that I'm missing to, um, uh, to get where I can start reading these. And I'm getting close. There's one trade that's not out yet that comes out in February that'll kind of bridge that gap. But um, And then I'm going to have a backlog of Daredevil to read, so I'm going to have some time and then I have to wait. So I'm trying to pace myself. But um, I haven't been following Daredevil for a couple of years. Um, I, I love Daredevil. He is probably my favorite Marvel character. Um, he always kind of goes back and forth between him and Spider-Man. I, I, I think Daredevil always takes the cake in the end, but um, Spider-Man is the one that always rivals him when it comes to my favorite Marvel character. But I think Daredevil wins um, for a couple reasons. Um, I love Daredevil for for a lot of reasons, like I just said, but uh, I don't want to get into all of that right now because I'm just too excited to talk about this book. I recently um, have been... I, I, I have... Frank Miller's run, I have, uh, I, you know, I have his first three volumes on In Trade I've read, I have Born Again, I have uh, Man Without Fear, I have the Bendis Maleev run, I have the, the uh, three volumes of that, and I have uh, uh, two, and I have a third volume of Mark Wade's run uh, coming in because I did read Mark Wade's run, and then I kind of lost out of touch with picking up comics for a while, I was in college at the time, it was really hard, so I'm just getting back into that. Um, so I... Uh, I'm a little behind, but I love Daredevil. I can't get enough of him, and I just collect everything. But I thought, you know, this is getting this is getting um, Bendis level praise, so I have to pick it up. I mean, people are saying this is as good as Bendis, if not better than Bendis. This is better than Frank Miller. So I was like, man, I got I got to try this. Um, so I picked up this volume. Uh, uh, there's not much you need to know going into it, just so we're clear. Like, 
they they give you a pretty good recap at the beginning of uh, of the volume, um, basically telling you his origin and then also telling you what's going on right now. At the end of the the last run of Daredevil, he was hit by a truck, and after he was hit by a truck, he um, obviously had to kind of go into retirement. And he was in uh, physical therapy, and this is him getting back into it. Um, so in the first issue, we see uh, Matt Murdock. Um, kind of hitting on a woman like he always does at a bar but he's also there for another uh, agenda um and this is where i gotta say the art is just fantastic i'm really happy with this art um one reason i like daredevil is he has red hair go figure i just think it's kind of cool i you don't get that a lot in stories and i and i i think it's fun um and he's always you know sometimes they give him blonde hair and i go no or they give him brown hair and i go no but uh, Daredevil has red hair in the comics, and I love that. Um, but you see him hitting on a woman, and then you see him kind of going out for the first time in this stunning uh, splash page. Um, like I said, this art is so great. It's dynamic. It's detailed. Um, this is the kind of art that you want to show people when they want to get into comics. Um, and he starts uh, fighting some thugs um, for the first time, and he's still not 100%. So he's kind of getting his ass handed to him. And, uh, you know, it kind of ends with um, them catching the place on fire and the cops showing up and him having to kind of run away. And, uh, and you find out, th this is kind of spoilers, just so you know, like, but it sets up the arc. I mean, this is the first volume. I have four, uh, three more volumes and there's, he's still doing his run. So, I mean, it's a good jumping on point to get you interested, I suppose. Um, but uh, he is, uh, he runs off and you find out that he, uh, he potentially murdered someone by accident. Um, uh, one of the thugs died of blunt force trauma to the head. And uh, they're blaming Daredevil. Um, Wilson Fisk at this point is mayor of New York. And he has this really harsh, uh, you know, go after the, the masked vigilantes. They're murderers, they're killers, they're awful. And so... Um, in between all this, you're getting these flashbacks um, with Matt and um, and and him talking to a priest at a church, and it's it's all his you know him growing up because you know Matt's Catholic and he's uh, kind of going over his uh, you know his big contradictory life that is fighting crime illegally and being a vigilante, but also trying to be a good Catholic follower and it's it like it's conflict that's what it is 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 you can't do both and what he's basically telling him is you know you are a child of god god is in charge of um your your life he's in charge of what you do and justice will come through god not through uh, a mortal human um doing these things and uh, it's kind of this the this has been talked about a lot in Daredevil comics. It's nothing new, but the way that he is in uh, kind of weaving these into the modern telling of, of what's going on uh, present day uh, really mirrors things very well, and it's really uh, really great. Um, so you're getting you're getting some of those, and, and like I said, the at the end of the first issue, you find out that a person died, and. It kind of kicks off this story, man. It, 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 it takes you on a whirlwind, just like any great Daredevil story does. Matt just kind of, his, his life just goes straight down in tanks um, due to all of these circumstances, circumstances he runs into in this story in particular. Um, and he, uh, he runs into the Punisher at one point. He runs into Spider-Man at one point. Very classic Daredevil uh, team-ups in a way, and not really team-ups in this version. Um... If you loved the the Netflix show, this is a you'll feel at home with this story. You'll feel at home with this book. Um, it's very cheap. Um, it, it's only uh, well, it's fifteen ninety nine, which is cheap for a trade. Um, it's uh, the first five issues, so you're not really committing yourself to an omnibus. You're not even committing yourself to a thirty dollar massive trade that you may hate after the first page and you feel like you have buyer's remorse. I've been there. Um, this is something you can pick up, and, and it's kind of like a sampler in a way, but a much better. It's, it's much better. It's worth the price, is what I'm saying. Just this first volume alone. Um, and, uh, it, you know, it's a good place to start because you're not, it's not going to, I read this in one sitting, um, it's, but it's also going to keep you really gripped, I think. Um, and especially the end of this volume will, is on a very great cliffhanger. Um, I will kind of hint at the next volume, 
which um, starts with uh, a different artist in this next story arc. Since these are only like five issues apiece, these volumes, um, the artist had to take off for something else, and so we have a different artist. And what I have to say is it's harder for me to read that second volume because I love um, Tuchetto's art so much, um, so it's hard for me. But I'm, I'm enjoying it greatly. Um, if you're looking for um, noir, dark, gritty, uh, yet uh, classic superhero um, fare with uh, a hint of new ideas, uh, Chip Starsky's Daredevil is, is the number one choice for me. It's probably the most engaged I've been in a comic in 2020 and in 2021. Um, I can't wait to get caught up. I can't wait to read the rest of the volumes, and I can't wait to jump into the single issues that I can now grab through my pull list. Um, so, um, you know, a lot of people ask me, where where should you start with Daredevil? And some people tell you Frank Miller. Some people tell you Brian Michael Bendis. Some people tell you um, Ed Brubaker. Um, many, many others. And um, I'm not saying you should start with this, but let me just show you real quick. You have the first volume of Frank Miller's Daredevil right here, right? And uh, it's about thirty thirty dollars, thirty yeah thirty dollars, thirty five dollars in Canadian. Um, kind of a commitment, especially for a lot of reasons, but I won't get into it. And then you have uh, Bendis's Daredevil, which is right here. This is the first volume. Same same thing, thirty dollars. Big commitment. If you love the character, you're gonna be very happy with these and these are great starting points same with born again even though it's the end of frank miller's arc it's a it's really a good um capsule of what to find but chip starsky's daredevil might be the way to go because it's half the price of those yeah it's smaller it's it's a little bit of commitment you're supporting brick and mortar hopefully um and you are getting a really good quick it's it's snappy. The, the story's snappy. It doesn't it doesn't hold on too much. It doesn't um, it doesn't just it's not aimless. It knows exactly where it wants to go. And it's it's quintessential Daredevil. You're gonna get almost more of who Daredevil is out of this than you would out of a man without fear or without a um, uh, any of these. And you can start with any of these, don't get me wrong. You can start with any of these books. But this might be uh, a better option for some people. Um, and the only reason I say that is because if you've seen the TV series, you can jump right into this. Or you have this beginning, all you need to know. I can read it right here. When young Matt was a kid, he lost his sight in an accident involving radioactive chemicals. Though he could no longer see the chemicals, heightened Murdoch's other senses and imbued him with an amazing 360 degree radar sense. Now... Matt uses his abilities to fight for the city as Daredevil. Um, that's really all you need to know, right? So uh, this is an aimless video. I haven't done a, a single kind of review on something like this in a really long time, uh, so I apologize. But hopefully they'll get better. Um, but uh, I'm going to leave you with that. If you have any questions, leave uh, comments down below. I always like to answer people who ask questions in any video. Um, and if you, uh, if you have any comments on what you think of the story, please let me know. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next video.